Hello, welcome back to Financial Independence Challenge. Today we are talking about sales and how much money you can make in a reasonably good sales job. The reason I'm talking about this today is because financial independence is a key goal for me. Financial independence means that I fix my bad money habits. It also means that I invest in things that give me cash flow or give me uh, freedom so that I don't need to rely on a nine to five corporate job as much. I'm not a fan of the retire early. I don't want to retire early. So I just have the financial independence sort of person. I think a key tenant of getting financial independence is earning more money. Of course, cutting your expenditure and saving and making sure you're not overspending is a massive part of it. But today I wanna to talk about how sales has really helped me up my income so that I can at least have a plan for financial independence. Because if you're in London and you're not earning 50K a year, in my opinion, uh, you're not going to get financial independence. Uh, rent in London is on the cheap end, £750 per month. It's probably costing most people around £1,200, £1,500. If you earn £50,000 a year after tax, you're looking at £2,900. Uh, so let's say you live off £500, which is a very small amount. You have £1,000 to put away per month if you're on 50,000 pounds per year. And that's if you're eating baked beans and not doing any holidays or anything like that. 1,000 pounds a month is 12,000 pounds a year. That's not enough to achieve financial independence. Of course, you can cut back, but the main thing and what's helped me is to earn more money. And the skill in order to earn more money, if you have no degree, for example, I, I was never smart enough to be a doctor. I probably could be a lawyer because I can talk a lot of shit. But, uh, you know, I haven't got the academic skills to be a doctor, to be a lawyer. Um, what can you do to earn, you know, in my case, six, six figures uh, in the UK? What can you do to up your income? Sales is the way forward. Now, if you've got a vocation, let's say you want to be an actor. Maybe you love your job. Maybe you want to be a teacher. Maybe you want to be a policeman. Uh, maybe you have something that you want to do right by the community. Or maybe you want to work as a social uh, you know, in the social work sector, maybe you want to be a nurse. I commend those people. I genuinely do. I have many friends like that, and I like those people a lot. I have nothing bad to say about them. But the hard truth of the matter is they will not be financially independent. You need to have a certain character. You need to have a certain mindset if you really do want to win the game of money. And that is how I see it. It's a game that I want to win as quickly as possible. Sales is the best way to get to a high income if you haven't got any capital, if you haven't got any skills, uh, as in qualifications or anything like that. How do I know this? Because I've done it. I went from being a completely broke actor. Um, I was getting paid, I think, 200 pounds a week in cash to be in a pantomime when I was 22 years old to earning six figures um, by the time I'm 28, 29. How do I do that? Sales is one of those things which it, you have to have the right character for you, you have to have the right mindset, you have to right, have the right hunger, and you have to be competitive. And But that doesn't mean you have to be non-emotionally intelligent. You have to be able to empathize with people. You have to be good with people. Um, there are many resources I can talk about how to Im improve uh, you know, your sales or about how to get into sales or anything like that. But it doesn't necessarily need to be smashing the phone, cold calling. When I say sales, it can be anything that you are positioning yourself to a company or a customer where if you work harder, you get compensated on your performance. This is the main thing. Sales doesn't necessarily need to mean that you're customer facing. It can mean that you know, you have a target, maybe you're a marketer and you negotiate a contract where you get a certain percentage of the sales that you contribute towards a company. Uh, maybe you are a customer success person, you're not actually client facing, maybe you're a fulfillment person. Maybe you are an operations person, maybe you're even in finance, maybe you are a lawyer. Any part of the business the reason why sales is a good way to leverage and get financial independence is because you get compensated for the extra effort you put in. 
In my case, I get a percentage of every sale that I do, which is called commission. This is why sales is a really good skill and a really good profession to go into for that first rung to try and get that first bit of cash flow over just over broke, which is what most jobs are about being just over broke. So as you can see, this it's an early stage in this YouTube channel, it's early days. If you're interested in more sales content, let me know in the comments, what do you want to see? Do you want to see how to get into sales? Do you want to see sales tactics? You know, I could talk for hours about all these subjects. Um, do you want to talk about what it's like to earn 120 grand uh, in London? If you want to see my uh, paychecks, um, you know, see how I spend my money, let me know because this is a, a new sort of YouTube channel. I'm trying to get feedback on it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.